Hi there, welcome to today's lesson. I'm taking you on a mysterious tour of the ancient land that is Athens. This marvelously gorgeous landscape is part of that sprawling city. A word that I want to share with you here is terrain. Terrain, okay? Terrain is land with certain natural features. For example, the mountainous terrain. Okay. And I've got my little bird. I believe it's a falcon right, that has perched on my hand, right? So perch means to sit at the edge of something, right? So perch on. Awesome. Now, let me also tell you about this structure over here, which is called scaffolding. We still use scaffolding to construct our buildings today, so it's a modern uh, way of uh, putting things together, especially buildings, right? I'm giving you the view from my vantage point, right? It's a bird's eye view. But I want to walk through the streets of Athens and give you a taste of the sights and sounds of this enchanting land. All right, as you can tell, the pace of life is somewhat slow. It's not fast at all. And I could use the expression laid back to describe people's attitude, right? So it's just that they're in a good mood and lifestyle is not hectic, guys, unlike today. And now some people are not covered in clothes, right? So they're wearing maybe a few pieces of clothing. And I can use the phrase scantily, scantily clad, right? Clad, referring to someone who's not covered in uh, clothes properly and they show their skin. <laughs> awesome. Now, all of these sites are so, so lovely to look at, as you can imagine, all right? So they're easy on the eye, easy on the eye. Now the opposite is eyesore. If you describe something, like maybe a building that ruins the view, all right, then sometimes you go into these shanty towns and then you come across views that completely spoil the view. And that is called an eyesore, all right, an eyesore. But anyhow, I want to tell you a little bit about my experience studying history in grade school. So we had this eloquent teacher who would describe all of those watershed moments, you know, those important events in history, right? In vivid detail. And some of those images were seared into my mind. I, I swear, I still remember some of those uh, battles that are of historical significance. All right, what about you guys? Did you like history? If you want to experience what life was like in ancient Greece, if you want to check out more impressive sites, for example, the Acropolis, then you must play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I remember at the Acropolis, about 20 years or so ago, a magnificent concert was held. Performances were given by some of the world's best musicians, including Yanni, the great uh, piano player, right, or pianist. <laughs> Awesome. So un unfortunately, some areas, you know, are a little bit uh, shabby, all right? So maybe these are the uh, impoverished areas, all right? So but anyhow, if you wanted to experience a little bit more of ancient Greece, then like I said, check out Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm sure you would thoroughly enjoy this game. Thank you guys for paying attention. I'll catch up with you in a video pretty soon.